Hey everybody, today I am going to make for you a strawberry salad dressing and I had some strawberries that were not as sweet as, as I would like for them to have been and weren't really that good to eat, but they weren't that bad either. So I thought about what could I do with them and I came up with this, which probably a million other people have too. But um, anyway, I'm gonna show that to you, but before we get started, I wanna show you a couple uh, things that we have received. And <clears throat> yesterday in the mail, was this and um you know when you order like from amazon they'll send you little things if they're a gift and stuff and if the person wants to they can put their name and this is from michelle i believe this is what the name would be but it is the most darling little frying pan like uh, I had told you recently about wanting to have a little pan to do my eggs and stuff in, and this is great. And I have never had a copper pan before, so I'm uh, excited to try that out. And uh, thank you for being so kind and thoughtful, and I will truly enjoy using this. It's, uh, it's so cute. And the handle matches the inside and all. And just thank you very much. And then I have another gift that I have been holding on to since October. And this is actually not my gift, but it's Kaylin's gift. And it comes from a friend here, his name is Russ. And he's my friend on Facebook and he does the coloring books, um, does the pictures and shows them on Facebook, but he will tell you what kind of paper the picture is on he did, what kind of uh, pens, pencils, uh, crayons, or whatever he uses to color with, what kind they are, anything that you would need to know about that picture and how he did it, he has listed. And he is very talented. I wanna tell you his pictures are just beautiful. And he's just a very kind, sweet man too. And I'm um, so grateful that he thought about Kaylin in the way he did because she has really been on me about this. But as you know, things are in my family are always half crazy and anyway um she'll get to have it now so um i'm gonna show you what he gave her first is a, a pencil sharpener and you'll see in a minute why she'll need that then there's prism color it's an eraser. I really don't know what all this is. It says three unique erasers for your art and design needs. So that's three different erasers. I didn't even know they made more than one kind of eraser. Here is two pencil, pencils that you use in artwork. And now he sent several uh, different types of books. Uh, this one is a sketch book, a sketch diary. And I can see her after I get through with this video, this is just plain paper. But she will take this and she'll sit down somewhere in her little corner of the world and she will start drawing and drawing and drawing and coloring and she's gonna have the best time. I hate that I didn't get to this faster. Then here is a, 
my coloring book. It's Autumn Scenes. And really pretty pictures in that. And there's a pumpkin. If you, I've done a little adult coloring. And my sister does a lot of it. And it's very relaxing and um, uh, helps you get your, uh, you to use your talents and your, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but uh, anyway, it's just relaxing and a fun thing to do. And here is this Christmas book. Like here's a Christmas bunny and it's just full of all kinds of Christmas things. And I love it. And, and you know, Kaylin loves dinosaurs and she loves horses. And here is the big book of horses to color. So, she is um, really going to enjoy doing those horses. And then here is another horses book. Great horses. And I like how it, the page on the opposite side is plain. That way, depending on what kind of... Um, uh, whatever you use to color a uh, magic marker or pen, pencil, it won't rub off on the other picture. It's just plain. And then the wonderful world of horses. And beautiful pictures there. So, that is all but one thing he got her and the last thing is this it's 240 pieces premium colored pencils and it's in a tin container and it still has plastic on it and uh but I'm excited to see what it looks like. It says, artist premium quality, rich and vibrant colors. Soft, smooth, lead, non-toxic. So she is all set for her artwork. And I know that she is, um, I mean, she's already seen it. I talk like she hasn't seen it, but she, excuse me, is really, gonna go to town on that color and, and uh, she's already expressed how much she uh, loves that. So Russ, thank you very, very much. It is so appreciated and thank you. You didn't need to or have to go to all that expense and all, but it is very appreciated and thank you. So now, we are going to get started on our strawberry dressing. And here I'll show you where I've already made some. You have to look through that little opening there and you can see the strawberries and the juice. And this is just a jar I got at uh, Sam's Club, but it was, uh, I thought, would be a good one for this. So anyway, I'm going to make up some more of it. And I've got some strawberries, which it looks like a little mouse named Kaylin might have snuck a couple out of here. But you um, take a jar, you know, I reuse jars and stuff. I got this pineapple. And if you can ever find that pineapple at Sam's Club, it is awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna take this jar and use it to do the strawberries. So hopefully I can put this down 
but it's not really looking like I can, maybe. I have to push it back a little bit. This is about as good as I'm gonna be able to get it. So, you can take the whole strawberry if you want to, or like if you cut off the top part for someone and throw it away, just don't throw it away. Just cut what berry is on the top part and use it, but I'm only cutting off, um, see, just a tiny bit. And then I have the strawberry here and I'm cutting it up in pretty much bite-sized pieces. And I'm not gonna sit and do this whole jar because that would be so boring for y'all. But go ahead and cut up your strawberries. And you cut them whatever size you wanna cut them. And I am just sewing these everywhere. And I got one too big in there. Have to cut it down. I'll cut one more. This is a small container of um, strawberries, so it won't take long to get them cut. But go ahead and get your strawberries uh, prepared, you know, wash them and then I'll, and then just put them in your jar. And we're gonna pretend that I have done this whole thing. So once you have all your strawberries cut and in the jar, then you wanna take sugar and you use the kind of sugar that you want. Uh, growing up, my mom would use the regular white cane sugar and um, put it on our strawberries. And after it sits for a while, it starts making uh, the strawberries like sweat and produce a juice. And that's what you want to do here. So, you know, to be honest, I'm not sure if that would work with stevia and all the other kinds of sugar. I just know it does with regular sugar. So if anybody knows, you, if you want to let me know, that would be appreciated. So put some sugar on your um, strawberries. And I recommend that when you think you have enough sugar, then put more because your next ingredient is vinegar and you do not want this too tart. It's fine to have it some sour, but um, you do need to have the sugar to make it not where it'll spin your head type thing. And so when I put the sugar on the strawberries, I shake it up where the sugar will get all over all the strawberries and I let it sit for a couple hours. When I come back, there's a good amount of the strawberry juice that's produced. And we're gonna pretend that that's happened. And then we'll take our vinegar and I use apple cider vinegar. I don't suggest using white vinegar because in my opinion, it's too tart and uh, it just won't make a good dressing. But if you like the white vinegar and you feel like you wanna use it, then you just go right ahead. And so what you wanna do is pour the vinegar just up over the strawberries. And that's what I did here. And it's continued to uh, make broth or uh, juice. And um, the strawberries have gotten a little smaller than how I cut them. But I am telling you, this stuff right here is so, so good. 
and wonderful on a salad. So just pour your vinegar just up over your strawberries and shake it up again. Give it a good shake. And the uh, sugar, you can see sugar in it, like on the bottom and stuff, that will dissolve because like every day, maybe twice every day, uh, you, you need to refrigerate this, but you wanna go in the refrigerator and get it and give it a good shake. And about after three days, I feel like it's uh, good enough that you can go ahead and put it on your salad. Uh, it'll be sweet enough. And anything else you think you could use this on would be wonderful. But um, I had thought too about putting poppy seeds in it. If that's something you'd like to do, that would be good. But that is how to make the strawberry salad dressing. And I hope that you, well, I, I'm gonna show the rest of my face. I hope that you uh, enjoyed the video and I hope that um, you make the salad dressing and you love it. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time, hopefully. Bye-bye.